Okay. There he is. Come in, come in. Pardon me? Oh. <laughs> Guess I'm last. Sorry to have kept you. No worries. You're right on time. <laughs> Besides, we all know you had your field exercises to deal with. Well, as fully grown members of society and working professionals, we should be in the habit of arriving ten minutes early. <laughs> Says the man who waltzed in a mere five minutes ago. The Guild Branch's reopening came at a good time. Yes, I'm sure most restaurants are completely full around now. 
I can hardly believe we were all finally able to meet up again. <laughs> I know, right? Especially since we're all so dang busy these days. That's right. We'll certainly have a lot to talk about tonight. Good grief. <laughs> now, now, everyone. No need to dive into the serious stuff right away. Come on, it's our first big reunion since you all graduated. Let's cut loose a little. <laughs> Perhaps it would be best to start this reunion with a series of tender embraces. And not just among the women, of course. All your male classmates should enjoy the comfort of each other's arms, too. <laughs> what? Not on my Hell life! no! <laughs> <laughs> Sharon! Same as ever. Yes, <laughs> it's almost a little surprising. The time and place may be different, but in the end, we're all the same people. Well, we have all been chatting it up on that app of ours. <laughs> when you put it that way, it kind of takes the drama out of things. You grew taller. Elisa, you grew even prettier. And Emma, you grew even chestier. Oh, I, I was hoping you wouldn't mention that. <laughs> that hairstyle makes you look like an old man. Huh. You're one to talk! Huh. Reen, you and Gaius are just way too tall now. <laughs> Don't worry. I think I'm done growing now. Out of all of us, you seem to have grown the least, Milliam. Uh, huh. Excuse you! I grew one whole reach! Uh. We finally fulfilled our promise. Yeah. Elisa, everyone, thanks. Oh, please. For what? It's not like we all got together just for your sake, you know. Machias is blushing. <laughs> well, we are celebrating Reen's graduation, too. Yes. After we had left, he stayed behind to uphold the spirit of Class 7. Not to mention he's the one in charge of the next generation of Class 7ers. It's been said before, but you truly are the core of our group, Reen. Thank you, for everything. You guys... <laughs> We're starting to sound way too sappy. Starting to? You guys have all been like this for years. I suppose there's no avoiding it, today especially. <laughs> in any event, we have the party set up in the back. I've prepared more than enough alcohol, so please enjoy, provided you're old enough. Huh. Oh man, I get to have Sharon's cooking again! I can't wait! I knew I smelled something tasty. Alright, give me the biggest, frothiest mug of beer you got! You're nowhere near being old enough to drink!
There are two things for sure. We need to stop the war that's been building on the surface before it starts. And at the same time, we need to find out what's been going on behind the scenes and prevent whatever disaster's being planned. I agree completely. Everything else might be really complicated, but those two goals are set in stone. This is something only we can figure out, thanks to each of us having branched out on our own. If we each make the most of our unique situations and pool information, together, we will be able to overcome any obstacle we may come across. Right, no matter whether it's on the surface or behind the scenes. We don't have many allies, nor are we alone. Agreed. Let us find those willing to aid our cause. Wait, Milliam, are you okay with all of this? You do uh, realize, standing with us will eventually mean standing against your fellow Ironbloods. That's right. Fighting cryptids and magic knights is one thing, but... Think this over and tell us what you want to do, Milliam. You're gonna ask me that now? Huh? Mm. Milliam? I don't remember anything before the past five years. But I started to think about some stuff. Like what I am, and what it means to feel sadness. I've been thinking about this stuff ever since I met you guys two years ago. Uh. <sighs> I want to learn more about myself. I want to keep being your guys' friend. I like Gramps and Claire and Lecter, but... I want to find out what I am on my own terms. I don't like the idea of the Black Workshop controlling what I do and don't know. Even if it means going against Gramps, I'm a member of Class 7 till the end! I'm more than just the Black Workshop's OZ-73, the Ironblood's White Rabbit, and an agent of the Intelligence Division. Reen, Yusis, Elisa, Emma, Fee, Laura, Elliot, Machias, Gaius, Sarah, all you guys. When I cried for the first time, it was all of you who held me close. I'll always put you, my friends, first. Milliam. How? I see. How? How did I swear. They... I think that caught us all off guard. I... I had no idea you felt that way about us. You may not have grown much physically, but you've definitely done a lot of growing on the inside. Agreed. In that sense, I think it's safe to say you grew the most out of any of us. I suppose we needn't worry about you anymore. Mm-hmm. It was silly of us to doubt her after all this time. Uh, you guys just can't resist the chance for an inspirational speech, can you? Well, now that you've decided what to do, you guys seem more determined than ever. For your more immediate plans, what are you all going to be up to tomorrow? The new Class 7 and I will continue with our special ops missions. I think it's especially important we capture the Calvardian agents. I agree. If we let them roam free, Whatever they do could be used as an excuse to start a war. Yep. Just like how Keldic was used to start the Northern War. I'll continue playing my shows around the city and gather information. I'll come with you and see what I can find, too. I'll keep following Grandfather and hit up some contacts of mine for info. Selene and I will continue to investigate the spirit veins around Heimdall. So the plan's for everyone to gather info, and then we'll all meet up and share notes, yeah? Yes. Let's stay in contact and be ready to move at a moment's notice. All right. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Look at you. You're all so reliable now. Like now. But it's getting a bit late. How about we call it a night? I'll set up um, a call with everyone early tomorrow morning, and we can night? talk about our plans in more detail. Huh? Yeah, sounds good. Get some good rest tonight, everyone. Are you two racer types gonna stay here for the night? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There are beds on the second floor. I'll be sleeping at home for the first time in a while. I assume the same can be said of you, Elliot? Yeah, I called my sister. Gaius will be staying with us tonight. Thanks again. I appreciate the hospitality. Oh, I nearly forgot. We have yet to discuss your situation, Gaius. That's right! We were unable to contact you for nearly half a year. You were somewhere outside the country, right? 
Yes, but it's quite the tale, so it may be better to leave for next time. We're gonna meet up again before too long, so I'll tell you then. <laughs> True. Uh, I guess it wouldn't be fair if I heard it first, huh? Oh, and I was wondering... About that little blonde girl you mentioned seeing, Reen. I was wondering about that myself. You said she looked ten years old. Could be a witch in training? Well, that isn't right, but I guess it's not wrong either. She went missing and we've been looking all over for her. Sheesh, her and Vita both just wander wherever they want without telling us a thing. But whatever, I'm sure we'll have to introduce you to her soon. Now I'm even more curious. Yeah, like in... <laughs> Got it. I'll be looking forward to like it. Like in the void game. Yeah, that's why I'm recording. Something wrong? No, just a nostalgic smell wafting around. I understand what I am, and the situation I'm in. Is that so? Would it be selfish if I said I'd rather you hated me? <laughs> that question itself is completely pointless. Give me Albrecht's orders, Copper Georg. Tell me what role I'm supposed to play in tomorrow's act. All right, Kr No. Azure Siegfried. Too late. Were that prodigal child with me, we might have dealt with this together. Between the gnomes and the snakes, there are too many plots in motion for me to stop on my own. Perhaps I need to create more kin. <sighs> the day Leanne spoke of is close at hand. If nothing else, I must settle matters from 200 years ago before then. I vow it on the name of the final true ancestor, the one that failed to die, Crimson Roselia.
You mean you? This is truly an honor. Here, a reward. Keep it up. Hey. See you guys on the next hour.